the tenth meeting of Dana Party Committee. Municipal Party Committee Secretary checks progress of the Bing Phu Ung Nguyen Chi Phu intersection. APAC, golden opportunity for Dana to attract investment in RT industry. Hello, welcome back to the RT News. On October the 16th afternoon, Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc chaired a teleconference with 63 provinces and cities nationwide to review the 15-year implementation of preferential credit policies 2002-2017. Vice Chairman of the Da Nang People's Committee, Trung Văn Minh, hosted the conference in Da Nang City. More than 31.8 million poor households and social beneficiaries receiving loans, of which 4.5 million families pulling themselves out of poverty, was a result of the 15-year implementation of the government policy on the provision of banking credit support from the Vietnam Bank for Social Policies to poor families and other policy beneficiaries. In Da Nang, Credit Policies is currently running 22 loan programs, with a total outstanding loan of 1.567 trillion Together with local support policies, the credit policies has helped over 88,900 families escape from poverty or from being on the verge of poverty, creating more than 60,600 new jobs and helping more than 63,400 students cover their education expenditure. On October the 17th and 18th in Da Nang, the Economic Committee of the 14th National Assembly are holding a plenary session to discuss and approve the important reports which will be presented at the fourth session of the 14th National Assembly. Mr. Vũ Hồng Tan, member of the Party Central Committee and chairman of the National Assembly's Economic Committee, chair the meeting. At the meeting, the delegates paid focus on discussing the reports related to the national key projects such as the construction of Longtan International Airport, the North-South Highway Projects Phase 2017-2020, the draft on amended competition law, the draft law on planning, and the report on the national socio-economic development situation in 2017, as well as the plans and key tasks for 2018. On October the 17th morning, member of Party Central Committee, Secretary of the City's Party Committee, Chung Wang Yi, Standing Deputy Secretary of the Party Committee, Vo Kum Ji, and Chairman of the City People's Committee, Huynh Duc Thơ, co-chair the 10th Party Committee's meeting to review the implementation of the missions in the first nine months of 2017 and launch tasks for the remaining period. According to the assessment presented at the meeting, in the first nine months of 2017, the city's economy maintained a good growth with a year-on-year -year increase of nearly 8% in terms of total social product. Tourism activity were also bustling with more than 5.1 million tourist arrivals. The total budget revenue reached more than 17 trillion dollars, accounting for more than 82% of the target. The urban management and social and cultural aspects have seen positive changes. The work of party development also has significant changes on all aspects. Especially, the city has focused on carefully preparing for the APAC Economic Leaders Week, taking place in the forthcoming November. On the afternoon of October the 16th, the City Party Committee Secretary Trung Wang Yi, accompanied by the People's Committee Vice Chairman Nguyễn Ngọc Tuấn, paid a visit to look over the construction progress of the Deep Bing Phu Nguyễn Chi Phu Intersection Tunnel. The construction work officially commenced after Tate holidays. So far, it has completed over 80% of the work, in particular 100% tunneling, 90% barriers, 95% estate, and collector road surface on both sides of the tunnel. Currently, the constructors are paying focus on the BRT lanes and concrete slope inside the tunnel and finalizing the wall, handrail painting, and greenery planting. The construction work is expected to be completed on October the 30th, the secretary requested the managing board and constructors to strictly comply with the progress commitment, ensuring the quality, aesthetics, and labor safety. 
On October the 17th morning, the Dana Association for Women Intellectuals held its second Congress for the 2017-2022 tenure. This was an important political event in the operation of the city's women intellectuals. Over the past five years, the Dana Association for Women Intellectuals has focused on strengthening its organization as well as connecting and gathering the women intellectuals in the city. Accordingly, the role of women intellectuals in participating in scientific research has been increasingly paid much attention to. Within five years, 27 topics and projects running by women have been highly applied. The association has also coordinated with the city's women's union to carry out projects related to gender equality and women intellectuals in the general development of the city. In the next tenure, the city's association for women intellectuals will continue to consolidate and develop its unit, as well as strengthening the activities of the group for women entering politics and promote their strengths to develop the economy of members' families, contributing to the city's development. The APAC Economic Leaders Week taking place in the forthcoming November is considered as a good opportunity for the local IT industry to attract the large foreign investors and to help the city's IT industry integrate into the global supply chain. The IT businesses in Dano are keen to get the chance to meet up with the CEOs of the IT and media groups from the APAC member economies on the upcoming event. This is not only a golden opportunity for domestic IT enterprises in general, and Dano City in particular, to get access to the big partners, but also a chance to seize opportunity to call for investment, promote technology transfer, and establish cooperation in the field of IT industry, particularly some fields where which are the Dana strengths and highly valued by the IT experts, include software and digital content industry. To actively prevent the outbreak of diseases on animal and poultry and ensure food safety, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development launched the Month of Environmental Sanitation and Disinfection Phase 2 in 2017 across the country. The campaign is run within a month, starting from October the 16th to November the 15th. Accordingly, the ranches, concentrated slaughterhouses and poultry incubators will prepare the materials expenditure to implement the program by themselves under the supervision of the locality. The animal slaughterhouses and establishments processing animal products must clean and disinfect the environment in accordance with the regulations before and after each production shift. The Ministry will also direct the common authorities to implement spraying disinfectant as households, breeding area and livestock markets in rural areas and public places. The Vietnam Military History Museum held a closing ceremony for the Fine Arts Creation Camp entitled Armed Force Revolutionary War. After the 15-day camp, participating painters created 30 pieces of fine arts. Most of these works expressed the images and praised the Vietnamese soldiers in the course of building and protecting the fatherland. Such paintings as the rocket engineer, defense, or the shipyard reflect the continuous growth of the people's army in building up an elite and increasingly modern army force. In addition, many paintings about the topics of sea and island or the unity between the army and the people were also made at the creation camp such as the works on the far island towards the sea. Letter from home. These artworks will be exhibited at the Vietnam Military History Museum in the time to come. That's all for today's news. Please log on to drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.